Hello, hello everyone. I am finally in a new city. I arrived in Białystok about two days ago. So I decided to take a rest yesterday and showing you guys around here. It's a large city, but most of it is spread out quite a lot. But don't worry, like walking around can take you everywhere. Right here behind me is one of, I believe like the three main malls here. Ooh, windy today, it's cloudy. There's like a little, that's, that's the main river here. It's very tiny because it's been so dry lately. But yeah, let's come along and I'll show you guys around. During the summer you could find concerts. I actually was on one concert here and <laughs> it was just amazing. I take also photos but ah, I'll show you guys around. <laughs> the red church I guess you could say it has a very interesting story to tell so when we get up closer I'll show you guys because you can't quite see it but there's a white building attached to it that's very important yeah there's just a lot of cafes distributed I just love the architecture and right there you can see that's like the hole, it used to be it, but now it's no longer used. It's used as a museum. But this is mostly it. Just sitting in one of these cafes outside in the evening is so pretty. But yeah, let's move on. So, interesting history with these. These are actually two separate churches right there but the history is that this white church behind me was the original one and they wanted to tear it down and build a new church so they wanted it but the rule the rules or laws during that time since it was during the time of communism they weren't allowed to basically and also they weren't allowed to use any other plot of land to build basically the new church so instead how they got around it and the loophole that they found was that they asked if they could build onto it which the new built on part is the spread church and they were allowed to so that's kind of how they went around the whole thing we weren't able to go inside to actually see inside of it. You can only see through the pane glass, but the red one I know is built in Gothic style. Inside is absolutely beautiful and everything. So highly recommend it. If you come here, definitely check this church out. If you're a history buff or anything like that, or even just a normal visitor like me, definitely come here. We are now entering in 
to the Palace Branitsky. Said to have been modeled after Versailles, but I can definitely see kind of same atmosphere because I have visited there before. People usually come here and right by the water they'll set out a blanket and picnic. And right now, I know they're starting to kind of restyle this whole place as it once was. So this is partially newish. And then they're going to have more of a moat down there. But yeah. Did he tell me right now sadly visitors aren't actually allowed inside the palace because most of it is used as a medical school so there's only like one part of the palace open which is all the way in the front but I'll show you guys that later a little another history fact that right there uh, what is it called a gazebo that is where the queen, queen, is that, is that what, I guess the queen would have her tea and everything. Other than that, I definitely see the Versailles influence in here. We'll go around and I'll show you guys the front of it. It's definitely a place where you can take Instagram worthy photos. <laughs> Sadly, it's off limits. Conferences do take place here, which is why I believe there's so many cars here and also kind of parties up in the ballroom, exclusive parties. So yeah, but honestly, it's still worth a visit. There's um, just frescoes kind of spread out throughout the outside here that they kind of discovered when they were modeling and everything. Anybody know me one? Thank you. 
simple things that I absolutely fell in love with when I found out about it was that you can literally enter the park from way back there, walk through all of it, and you come upon the zoo here. It's literally like smack dab in the middle of the park and contains some, I believe, deer, bears, chickens, definitely, um, pigs, what else? There's some cats I know in here, but we're gonna head into it and I'll show you guys around more into it. I know there's this cute little cat, looks domesticated, but apparently I found out that it is the kind of wild ancestor of domesticated cats, which is pretty amazing, but yeah, come on in. Oh, and owls, there's like so many owls here, so come on. Thank you.